Welcome to a special episode of Call of Duty Nightline. I am honored today to sit with the lead designer at Treyarch, fresh off of the successful launch of Black Ops 4, a man who needs no introduction, David Hi Von everybody, I'm Reznov. And my name is Mason. Well, the number's Mason. So let's get down to business, Vondi. Can I call you Vondi? No. <laughs> Vondi, why do you hate knifers? Is that a thing people say? It's just how we feel. <laughs> I'm not answering that question. No, 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 just hear me out for a second. The knifing in Black Ops 4 is broken. In World War II, we knifed three times as fast. The melees, the throw knife. Even in Black Ops 3, we had a faster melee. That's the point. That's what makes it awesome. Yeah, awesome for the people who shoot guns, but if you're knifing only, it's a nightmare. Is that your nightmare? One of them, yes. It's my fantasy. I beg you, for me and the knifing community, just speed up the axe throw, please. I will resign first. Okay, how, how about this, how about this? Meet us in the middle, create a perk like fast hands where you can just throw equipment faster. Good idea, you're hired. Yes, thanks Vondi, I knew, I knew it. I knew if I just got you sitting here, we could see eye to eye, meet in the middle, come together, you're a man of logic and reason. You are the man, Vondi, you're the man. But hey, hey, listen to this, now that I'm on the team, I got this great idea for Blackout. I'm happy with Blackout. What if like, World of Warcraft, we had some kind of mount, like a steed or something, or like Roblox, so you could have your own little pet that kind of followed you around while you were playing the Battle Royale, you know? And a map this size, it's hard. Like a tortoise or a puppy or something like that? Fired. No, no, please don't dismiss it, don't dismiss it. This is just like a strictly cosmetic idea. You would be able to make so much money off it. Just throw them into the supply drops or the supply stream, whatever you're calling it now. No. Listen, off the record, can I convert my Robux to cop points? I love what they did, but what they did and what we have are not the same thing. So, that's a yes? No! Son of a sucking mother I can't even pay my bills this month, and I'm just sitting here trying to get my money back, and I can't even use it for cop points because I was stupid enough to buy Robux. <laughs> <laughs> Play the obbies and stuff, man. And I Stop! <sighs> sorry, sorry. Okay, sorry. I just, what am I supposed to do with all these robux? Don't know. It was a total mistake. I mean, I just added the credit card to my account so that I could get the outfits and fashion forward, and then I'm seven grand in the hole, and now my truck is repoed, and my girlfriend left me. This interview's running about 15 frames a second for me. <laughs> what? Hey, you, you know that uh, bounty hunter, his name is Patty, um, Patty Mustard? <laughs> yes. I was one of the, the ones that ran, and he chased me down, and then bam, he puts me in a rear naked choke, right? And I'm like, I'm going to sleep, and he puts me out. Fuck. And you know, after that video got uploaded, and millions of people, like, saw me get put to sleep and chased, like, that's, that's not that humiliating, right? Like, I'm, I'm still with it, I'm still here, like, <laughs> God, you're a pain in the ass. So as a lead game designer at Treyarch, where do you see yourself in five years? Look for the ray of light. Thanks for being here today, Bondi. It really helped out a lot. Here, bring it, bring it in. Let's hug it out.